Stand. Agile! The Elder is close to death! He wants to see you! talk to me. He fell ill with the same disease as my fellow villagers. The disease weakened the Elder. I can apply a compress to ease the fever to help revive him.
it will be convenient to sort the herbs on the table and choose those required for making a compress. Vigil, you can see that I am weak. Illness overcame me, but our people need hope. I don't want to lie to them. We still don't know what kind of illness our settlement suffers from, and how to treat it. We do not know, but the time has come to seek outside help. Who can help us, and who cares about our suffering? We are the only ones on these lands dying because of the disease. The druid lives in the forest near the settlement. His knowledge is our last hope. And he has a lot of knowledge. Try to negotiate with him. Why didn't we turn to him earlier? I fell victim to the most terrible disease. Pride. I thought we could defeat the illness on our own. I didn't trust anyone. Druids are notorious for their waywardness. Are you sure he will help us? There's a key to the room on the windowsill. Grab the settlement medallion from the casket in that room and bring it to me. I'll catch my breath and we'll explain everything. This looks like the casket I need. found the necessary medallion. Great. Take it with you. It will serve as a serious argument for the druid. Why? The druid is bound by an unbreakable pact. He must protect all life on his lands. Our settlement is part of his lands, so he has to help us. How can I find him? I can't remember the exact route. Follow the path into the woods. It should lead you to the druid's house. Okay. Hang in there. Our people still need you. I may be old, but I'm not ready to give up. Take care of yourself, Edu. Stay alert. The forest is a dangerous place. Oh, 
Elmore, stop! Let me talk to him! <laughs> Who are you? Name yourself. Why did you try to steal my child? I am Ejil, an herbalist from the settlement of Bititsa, not far from this forest. And I didn't mean to steal your child. I thought someone had left him alone. I just wanted to help. Thanks for your concern, but his father and I are right here. My name is Mira, and this is Hailmore. We are scouting out the area. You are unusual parents, but the main thing is that you are here. Sorry for causing trouble. I was just worried about the baby. I'll be on my way. Wait. Clearly, you are unaccustomed to this forest and its laws. Otherwise, you would have passed on by. What brought you here? I'm trying to find the local druid. Honestly, I don't know where to look for him, or how to get there. I know the druid, and you are on the right track. The path on the right leads to the ruins of the ancients. The druid has created a portal in the ruined tower that opens with four runes. I'll give you mine. You must find the remaining runes yourself. Thank you. I would have wandered through this forest for a long time without your help. You're welcome. Remember, only the strongest survive in this forest. Be careful who you trust. Wow, what a family. I'm lucky that they were nice to me. Now I know which runes to search for. ruins. Everything here is dangerously dilapidated. I should be more careful. I need to support the slabs with something.
It's a portal. I have a feeling that many peculiar things await me on this journey. Might this be the druid? I need to show him the medallion. I see, I see your settlement medallion, young man. What do you want from me? Fix a bad potato crop? Help a newborn? I don't deal with petty rural problems. My name is Edgel. I am from the Bititsa settlement. We are suffering from an unknown disease. Our medicines have no effect, and people are dying rapidly. It's as if life itself abandons them. Exactly. Do you know what's happening? I am Svarog, the druid of this forest, and I am familiar with this story from ancient legends. Your quest to find a cure will require hard work and diligence. I want to save the people of my settlement. What should I do? You must travel to my ancestor's cave and find the Satyr's Chronicle. The cave is high in the mountains across the river. I will open a portal for you in the forest. Take a ritual knife from my house. It will come in handy. I have a knife. Now I can go to the clearing. The druid should be waiting for me there.
It's a ripe Gralang. I've only seen them in books. is open. Good luck. Be respectful to the legacy of my ancestors. The path leading into the mountains should take me to the cave. This should be the right cave, but how can I cross the river? These carnivorous fish love the rare greenhouse-grown fruit called the grelang. This is the cave I need. How can I get to the other side?
It turns out I'm not alone here. Who are you? Judging by the eyes, a witch. But what kind of business can witches have in our barren lands? Are you going to kill me now? How rude. I'm not a bloodthirsty monster. My name is Scarlet. And who are you? What brought you here? My name is Ejil. The people from our settlement are suffering from an unknown illness, and I'm hoping to find the answers in the Satyr Chronicle. What interest does a witch have here? I am a seeker. I travel the world to study other cultures and gather information that may be useful to witches. If you treat me with more respect, we could help each other. Why would you need my help? Our goals are similar. We could find the Chronicle faster if we work together. Satyrs are cunning folk. They are masters at hiding their secrets. I haven't found anything worthwhile. Perhaps you'll be more successful. You're not like the other witches. I trust you. Hopefully I won't regret it. Great. Grab anything you need from my bag. When you find the Chronicle, I can help you translate it. A Seder ritual knife is needed here, but I don't know where to get one. Luckily, I have one. The Satyr druid that sent me here gave the knife to me. These symbols look familiar to me. If we find 15 of these, we can pick up the mirror in the center of the pedestal.
What went wrong? Why did the writing disappear? No idea. As far as I know, we did everything right. We need to return to the Druid for help. Hello again. This is Scarlet. She is a seeker who helped me find the Chronicle. Something went wrong. The book's text appeared briefly, but immediately disappeared, even though we did everything right. Our tribe wouldn't expose their secrets for anyone and everyone to read. They aren't fools. They use the protective spell against witches like you. I mean you no harm. I'm just seeking lost knowledge from around the world. There are no good witches. If I had my way, I wouldn't help you with anything, witch. But I am obligated to help Agile. You will need a specific mushroom. A mushroom? Will it reveal the ink? How and where do I find it? There is a dungeon on the way to the cave. I'll give you the key to its door. Once you find the mushroom, a particular approach is required so its pollen retains its developing properties. What do I need to do? Go to my greenhouse. Follow the recipe I will give you to prepare a special liquid and dip the mushroom into it. Hurry! Time waits for no one. What was it? Are you okay? I need some time to recover. I spent a lot of energy, but we had no choice. Thank you. Rest. I'll take care of everything else.
Monte do Urs. Not far from the witch forest was a village where a tribe of satyrs settled. The village was infected by a deadly disease that struck all but three inhabitants. The three brave men who didn't suffer from the disease became the satyr's hope for recovery. They went to the fertility goddess for help. The path ahead was treacherous, but they had no other options. Only one would complete the journey and reach through thorns to the island of fertility. The satyr summoned the goddess with the divine diadem's help. She defeated the disease and the villagers recovered. However, none of the three brave men returned. Now that I have uncovered the hidden secrets of this place, I can consider this expedition a success. And what will you do, Edgil? I'm going to summon the goddess. After all the things we've seen, aren't you afraid of the unknown? No, I'm not afraid. I am the only one who can walk this path and save my fellow villagers. That is very noble. Can I help you somehow? I need a rope ladder to reach the island where the statue is located. Of course. Take the ladder. I wish you luck on such an arduous journey. I'm sure our paths will cross again. I can sail on this boat to the island where the statue is at. It's not far. Closed. By the look of it, someone lives here. Hopefully there are oars for the boat among this stuff.
What was that? Awful. How will I make it to the island now? Hello, dearie. Oh, it's been a long time since anyone came here. A very long time. What brings you here? I was trying to reach the island, but when I got into the boat, a horrifying creature tipped it over and almost killed me. Do you know what it was? Ah, oh, yes, yes. We have a water spirit here. But there is a way to deal with it. Yes, there is. Do you know how to get rid of it? Will you help me? You'll need a special potion. I can make the potion for you if you can unclog my chimney. A win-win solution. Okay, I'll see what I can do.
I cleared the chimney. The stove is ready for use. Nice, nice. Now I need you to collect the required plants. My back hurts, and my health is declining. Okay, just give me a list of what you need. Here is a list of everything needed to drive your monster away. Collect all the flowers from my garden while I prepare everything by the stove. You will also need the mucus of ghost mushroom, but I don't know where you can get it.
The elderly woman deceived me. She herself is the water spirit, and I helped her to take the form of a spirit on land too.
I need to get out quickly before she catches me. The underground tunnel led me to the island. What unbelievable luck! yourself. Why have you summoned me? My name is Egil. I am an herbalist from the settlement of Bitetze. I came to ask for your help. An unknown disease has plagued our lands and has killed many of my fellow villagers. There are no unknown diseases, but there are diseases out of your control. I can cure any disease, but it comes at a cost when interfering with the natural course of events. I'm ready. What should I do? First, collect seven seeds of the Tree of Life. Then come back here and place them within the Altar of Power. And then we shall speak again. A water spirit is preventing me from leaving the island. There is a magic crystal on the island. Find the crystal and bring it to me. I can enchant it with a protective spell that will keep you safe from the water spirit. Seeds of the Tree of Life? So that's the name of the luminous seed I have seen everywhere. As long as the crystal is with you, the spirit will not dare to leave its shelter.
I have collected the seeds. What's next? Life and energy exist everywhere. The scales of balance must remain equal. If I restore prosperity to your lands and heal your fellow villagers, you must rebalance the scales of nature with your life. If my death helps others survive, then I am ready. Death? No. You don't have to die to restore the balance. You will become a druid, a guardian dedicated to the life and well-being of this forest. Fulfill this duty, and your people will no longer suffer. It would be an honor to serve as the guardian of this forest. The knowledge I have gained on this journey will prove invaluable, and I have a lifelong journey ahead. If you are willing to pay such a price, then send my energy through the columns to the seeds of the Tree of Life, so they can germinate. An agreement between you and the forest will be concluded.